Yes, people, it's Jack Corbin. Welcome back to the channel on the FIFA 22 Road to Glory. Well, at the moment, it's the Mane Road to Glory. In the last episode, I ended up making the big mistake of selling him and buying Raul. And then within 10 games, it ended up happening. I sold the team straight away. They did not perform on the big stage for me. And then it was time for the red picks after the foot champs results. And it was huge. Hyung Min Son, 90 rated. He is just a blessing. I think it was a sign from the EA gods to stick with Mane and the Prem team. And then, if that wasn't enough, I ended up getting 87 rated Paul Pogba, who was worth 120 grand. He didn't make a feat in my team, but now this is the team I'm rocking with in Foot Champs this weekend. Make sure you stick around because we do get a good rank and some good red picks as well as the rewards. So you want to stick around as well. We do complete reshuffle of the team. But something that's more important is the upload schedule for the channel. What I'll be doing is posting two videos a week. On a Monday or Tuesday, I'll be posting Foot Champs, Rewards and Gameplay. And then moving on to Division Rivals across the weekend. I do work a 9-5, till five, so it's pretty hard to get out lots of content. But at least you guys know what's coming on the channel. I want to thank you all for the support so far. It's been mad. And the growth is really keeping me motivated. So don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and comments down below on what you think. But without further ado, let's get into the episode. Yes, guys, I'm back with another instalment of the FIFA Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Basically, the Mane Road to Glory. If you're new around here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and stick into the new videos because Mane has been tearing it up for me at Striker, and this team is just getting better and better. With Sonny and Foden as well, this week was a dream. I mean, you will see how good Mane was at Striker, and honestly, he was tearing up for me. You can just see he has no problem getting in behind the defenders, no matter how quick they are. He just absolutely takes them to pieces. And here you can see the link up between Mane and Son. And this weekend, it was a dream for me. He was out there. He couldn't hack it. And we tore up. This guy had a pretty sweaty back four. But I'm also sweat. And I bring Urente off the bench. So, you know, it's an even game. Early doors, he starts to get. This early goal with Bruno Fernandes, which is a bit of a shame. And then secondly, I'm a bit lost here because I'm looking back thinking, why did I move Kimpembe back? That wouldn't be like me. But I also have a short corner routine where I just play the ball to Mane. He doesn't switch on and I can go straight through and score. We end up ramping a comeback here as well. Getting it back to two all. But then in the 89th minute, some absolute rubbish happens. Straight through Kimpembe's nope. legs. Yeah, what is Kimpembe doing there? But yeah, we move on. Honestly, after that game, I just wanted to take it out and get as many wins as possible. And we did that. Son, Mane. It just works. I mean, this team looked really good and I was slightly worried. He's got that French Monaco striker. But I noticed something early doors. He lets me go through and I end up scoring straight away. What more can you ask for? Looked like it was going to be a free win. So, yeah, the next game, I ended up taking out that rage that I was saying and absolutely tearing up. Mane got a hat-trick, going to claim the match ball, and I ended up securing this win 8-0. It was an absolute tear-up. And then I come up against this guy, and I'm thinking, damn, another good team. I'm going to be in for a tough game. But I wasn't. Seems like I was getting three rings left, right, and centre. So I was absolutely buzzing with that, and it is an absolutely great scene for me. Yeah, I mean, the next game, I had Foden here. If I could recommend a cheap Premier League cam, it's got to be Phil Foden. He is very good. And you can see Son turning up as well. Overall, the boys really turned up in the first day, and I seriously got some work done, got myself in a good position. Nine games in, I had 30 points and basically was on track for rank two. The next day. So I came up against this really good team on the second day and he had Mbappe. I was really worrying that it was going to be a good team, but it ended up going 3 3 and going to penalties is pretty even. And this is probably one of the weirdest penalty shootouts I faced. Goal, miss, goal, miss. And then it gets down to it and it covers the penalties, but we end up securing the win. And then I come up against the bronze team. What more could you ask for? It looks like I'm in for another free win here. And that is exactly what happens over the next two games. I came up against the silver team as well. It ended in a couple of ways. Look, people moving their keepers out of the way and just quitting. 
So, look, I can take these wins. Absolutely. Get me to rank one, please. But, yeah, we come up against a good team here. You can see this guy knows what he's doing. Salah goes through, scores early doors, and I had a taste of my medicine. I was out of there as quick as you could know it. This guy came in with a Bundesliga team. Lacroix is just the bane of my life at the moment. I end up going into this game thinking, okay, look, it's only 1-0. I'm 1-0 down, and then Hernandez gets one in from a dodgy header and then Gomez scores and do you know what I really didn't have the time for this game I was getting smashed up 36 minutes and I decided it was time for me to leave and move on so 50 points I only needed one win out of three to get ranked two which I was gonna take at this point and if there's one guy on the series who's gonna do that of course it's Sadio Mane when he's playing striker gets me that goal straight away and damn, I was just buzzing with that. End up getting a penalty as well. And of course, I'm going to let Sonny take it. That inform, he deserves it. He ends up going and scoring for me. And this game is well and truly in my control. Foden comes up with a lovely headed goal. And that wraps it up and ends up getting me ranked two. Because this guy just could not deal with the team. I mean, Mane up front is just ridiculous. So I thought, do you know what, guys? I'm going to pay back the favour for those and I just went in, quit a couple of games, collected my rewards, premium team of the week, three player picks, a jumbo rare pack, a mega pack. So let's head over to that pack opening right now. So I've got three player picks and they're gonna be red picks as well. So I pop the first one here straight away and look who pops, it's Kaylor Navas, no surprise. In hindsight, I saw the Leipzig right uh, center back with loads of pace who I probably should have taken. Bit gutted about that, but I know Navas is crap as well, but I took him for rating. Same with Orthia Bao. And then on the last one, we also get another Navas, which makes it even more salty. But we get Romero, who looks like a good player, but I don't think he's really going to fit into my team anytime soon. But now we're on to the tradable packs, and I love opening tradable packs because I just want coins to rebuild my team constantly. I feel like over the past week, on a Sunday, I've just been building my team up making big changes and it just continually works but here i get Dries mertens absolutely awful really and then i get longley and ericsson both worth about 850 ea's market is on the floor right now that's why they're pumping out so many SBCs. so just have that in mind but then we open the 100k pack walk out and it's not really that good i mean lukaku great player but he's not worth anything again like 20 grand these SBCs are going to hopefully lift that floor price in a bit so I am going to keep hold of him I mean I wish he was good on this game but it's just Lukaku you know how he is every year clunky and no one really wants him but then it was on to the premium team of the week Ooh. ah ah less said the better really I mean I was hoping for a Mane but I know a Blake so yeah, I then went and reevaluated my situation and thought I need to upgrade this team. So I went for that Delict SBC and I got him. I mean, I had everything in the club to be able to do him. I think he cost me around probably like four grand because I had so much in the club. I gave Mane his rightful nine chem back because he's so good. And then it was time to completely revamp the team. Had about 300 grand in the bank after selling that team. So I went out and bought that Tonali card. He looks serious. I mean, I love a fast holding midfielder on this game because they offer an attacking threat as well as just being able to get to close down so quickly. And then I went and bought Kula Bali, probably one of the more underrated centre-backs who's given me a big problem. I got Lucas Moura for the chem as well, up to Son, which is well needed. And then I went out and bought Quadrado again, a fullback who's done bits for me. And then, so I'm thinking in the midfield, I have Tonali, Kessie, and uh, Foden in at Cam. And then I realised that Kessie won't work. But in last week's picks, I ended up getting informed Locatelli. I was slightly concerned about his centre midfield presence because he's not quick. But with Tonali, I know he will do bits. So I went out and thought, I need a left back and a goalkeeper now just to get me the Cam. So I went off, sold Walker as well as selling Marcus Llorente for a big profit. And I was kind of happy with it. I was going to hold on to Llorente because it would be worth. But who was I going to pick up now? I had to make a decision. I had about 400 grand sat there. 
And I was thinking, do I get an icon centre midfield for the chemistry? But then I realised that they're all kind of worth so much more than 400 grand to get a good holding midfielder. So I went out and got 87 Ashley Cole. You might be thinking, why would you go and do that? Well, if you put a shadow on him, he's got 95 pace and his defensive stats are already unreal. And he's got a strong link to Foden. Come on, Ashley Cole as well. He's a very good left back and I can't wait to use him in division rivals and foot champs. Hopefully he'll lock down that right wing. That has always been a problem for me. But yeah, I'm liking the look of the team with Son, Mane. The attack is just unreal. Foden is just ridiculously overpowered. Tonali and Locatelli look good. And then Wojciech Chesney to wrap it up in goal next to Kula Bali as well. But yeah, that is going to round off this episode. I think we've got about 100 grand left. So if you guys can think of anyone to add in, let me know in the comments down below. But thank you all for your support. You've been massive and you really helped keep me motivated. But it's been Jack Quab. Peace out.